Hey everybody, Cam Capital here with a video on Afira and Tilray. Just gonna combine them, you know, as they're going through their merger stuff right now. So Afira's shareholders approved it. Tilray pushed back their vote till April 30th. So we're gonna have to wait for two weeks for that uh, decision to go through. But uh, Afira uh, had its earnings on Monday. So here we're just gonna look at daily and weekly charts, you know, using Keltner, EMA, and then Standard Ds. But uh, here, We'll start with the daily on Afira. Big gap down over the weekend off of the earnings report Monday morning. You know, basically went from 1628 down to low 1381. Uh, further gap down on Tuesday. You know, got down to $13, $13 area. See by volume, pretty green. A lot of buyers came in, pushed us back up. Wednesday made this inside bar, and then Thursday. Push back down to this 38.2 fib. Friday buyers came in, pushed us back up. Got to close at 14.14, 14, close close to the high. Uh, I almost made a video on this Wednesday, but I put out like five videos on Wednesday, so I thought that'd be too many. Uh, but this kind of candlestick pattern right here, it obviously gap down, big green engulfing candle, and then another inside candle down. Kind of a weird combo. I haven't, haven't seen it. It's not very common. Um, but still inside bar play was in effect for that Wednesday play, right? So we broke through the low, ended up going lower <clears throat> and back down to the support area in $13. Uh, you know, it's 38.2 fib. It's kind of the spot right now. You know, we ran into it, acted as overhead resistance back in January for almost two weeks. And then once we broke through it, that's when the uptrend continued. Now, you know, it's actually that support. Yeah, we got down to the lower 13s, but, you know, here looking at the volume too, this is why you, I, I think it's very important to have a lot of um, information available, right? It can, can slow you down, especially trading on minute, five minute time frames, but, you know, dailies, weeklies, you you have time. But especially here, right? So we're, we're moving down into this demand zone where there is a lot, a, a lot of volume around that $13 area. And then obviously here, we have this above, you know, 14 to 16. We have that gap or of lower volume caused by the move over the weekend, and then really we just wicked that area in the past. Um, so really, down downside support right now. Say things get, you know, kind of ugly for these cannabis companies. Uh, we'll see a little bit more with Tilray. I think Tilray has more downside potential, but uh, Fira, you know, if things get bad, we can push the low end of this this volume down to 12 bucks right so even again this channel back in January the lows of it you know down to 12 bucks could be you know the the bounce area and that could coincide with this 200 EMA on the daily coming up uh, I think really for these cannabis stocks they need some some form of catalyst a merger could provide it uh, I think that's kind of muted I think a lot of people are expecting him are expecting the merger to go through and be approved a lot of people are just waiting for that legalization federally in the United States Yes, these are Canadian companies, but they're going to look to enter that picture. So here, go to the weekly chart, kind of see everything a little bit better. Uh, what I'm talking about, right? So this shows really well. There's a ton of volume, you know, between the, the 12 bucks, $14 area. Uh, we pushed through that first part of it to 13. Obviously here, the increase in volume, a lot of that's from this week. And then you see kind of the doji spinning top candle that we put in this week. You know, that's pretty close. But we did close above the 22 EMA, so that too could also as act as support moving forward. That's at 1379, so we could see uh, buyers holding that level moving forward. If we go now to the standard div channels, you see here <clears throat> the 1.5 standard div on the weekly basically coincides right with that uh, bounce off the 13 lows, right? That's 1323. And these do move, right? So it's probably a little higher um, last week, but they move at over time. You definitely see that on lower time frames. But uh, right, that uh, 1.5 div is pretty pretty close to that 13.82, 38.2 fib. Geez, I can't speak. Uh, and then we'll just check out the daily, and then we'll go over to Tilray. So here on the daily, you have the uh, you know half div below the neutral line. So the neutral line was basically holding the uh, um, the low last week, earnings come out, gap down through it. Now you're looking for some support on that 0.5, and that's right where we're at. So we're looking for that to hold going into next week. And then we'll switch this back to normal. 
go over to Tilray. This video is probably going to be longer than I wanted, but that's all right. So we'll go to Tilray here. So very similar looking chart, but much more of an extended move higher, right? So we got that 67 all the way up. So kind of exaggerated forms here. Uh, you see right now this price this week um, kind of basing off this 200 EMA. You know, if I can find a level where I can read that from the side. 1664. Um, so charts almost one to one, the exact same as Afira, right? Gap down off its earnings. Got the engulfing candle, same inside candle, same sell off, same bounce. Bounce here, 1626, uh, holding that 200 EMA. But you see here, um, unlike Afira, where the support in January was below where we're currently at, we're basically sitting in it right now. So you'll see that here on the volume a lot of that volume is above you know really between the 17 and a half to 20 bucks so you know if things get ugly for for Tilray really I think this we could go down and test that $12 for support right so here just in the volume like that's a huge very significant drop in volume between uh, 16 bucks down to 12 and a half so we could fall pretty quickly if uh, bearish news comes out for Tilray that's why I think Afira has got a you know better downside support moving forward and then we go here to the weekly for Tilray right so we, we basically bounced off this 50 EMA and uh, I think here too you can see a um, better picture of the volume right so still big volume gap below so look to see if this volume here that we're currently sits, sits in is uh, in the 50 EMA level acts as a, a draw for buyers to enter you know start forming positions hopefully get a counter trend go back up now look at the uh, standard div channels here so kind of kind of in in between the half and the one standard div level right now I see the the ones definitely acted as overhead support so obviously had that huge huge wick for the canvas stocks back in February you know another one but can't close it above actually opened right at it couldn't get above wick wick couldn't get above so definitely that's acting as overhead right now and that's sitting at uh, 26.4 so we're pretty far away from that but downside here you know if we do go through be back to nine and that would really be you know erase the entire move that that occurred from December if we're gonna follow support all the way back down to this half deep level but I think that'd be you know farther out probably into the summer if something like that happened and then we'll go here to the the daily Kind of similar to Fury as well, right? So sitting on the half D level uh, below, right? Kind of acted as uh, support. You know, it's at 1703, close at 1720. So obviously with the uh, Tilray, we do have the 23.6 fib above. That's where we opened on Thursday, rejected that. Uh, so that's going to be the target level. If we get good news, first area resistance, maybe move up on the daily back to that that uh, 90 MA and then gap fill. So. That's what I've seen on Afira and Tilray's charts. Let me know your thoughts going forward. Uh, you know, it could be a time for the next two weeks before the merger is announced. They put out some pumpy PR news, try to get some positive momentum into that merger. So that we'll just have to wait and see. Let me know what you think. Appreciate you taking time to watch the video, and we'll see you in the next one.